Green is many things. It is respect for the earth, our planet, in it. It is a sense of wonder for the world around us. It's realizing that everything is connected. It's saying no to the status quo and yes to creating possibilities. It's giving our children, children something to work with. It's reverence for life. It's preserving and protecting what cannot be replaced. It's enjoying the world's gentle and living with good intentions. Green is a thousand conscious choices every day. It's not just a philosophy, it's a commitment and a way of life. It's a being part of the solution. It's getting more out of life but taking less. It's pulling together with our community, our country, and our world. It's knowing that countless little things you do today matter tomorrow. Green is rising to the occasion. It is facing big challenges with even bigger ideas. It is turning what if into we will. It is sustainability and caring about a future world you may never see. It is knowing in your heart that what you do makes a difference. It is hope, it is action, it is a positive change. Green is caring about the world we live in, not just for today, but tomorrow. It's looking at the future with fresh eyes, an open mind, and a willing heart. It is thoroughly analyzing the way we always done things and finding better ways of doing it. It is spirited debate and concerned action. It is standing up for what right and setting a good example. It's quite possibly our last opportunity to restore the world and remake the future. Okay, so now you're going to create a logo for green is good. Those are the words that you're going to use. Now I want you to think about when you're creating your logo to not only focus on capturing the meaning of make the change as it relates to your Adobe Youth Voices environmental project, but your logo needs to incorporate an image or symbol that relates to the environment. You want to keep it simple. You want to use positive and negative reversing. You want to use a ligature. All the things you want to think about when incorporating a design for a logo. You want to make it eye-catching. You want to make it clear to the reader what you are saying. You want to make it fresh, innovative. I want you to really explore the possibilities for a logo. Remember, you're going to be making three logo concepts. And I want to review examples that you did for, say, the light bulb with power, recharge, and how you were really creative in that exercise. I also want you to think about when you picked a word to describe you and you created a logo out of that one word. Use all of those past exercises to inform you on your logo for this project. And remember, be creative.